This CoreCon training video series covers a module in CoreCon called Contact Management. One of the first things that you'll do when implementing CoreCon is to enter companies that are involved in projects. This would consist of customers, project owners, subcontractors, suppliers, general contractors, architects, engineering firms, lending agencies, and so on. To aid data entry, CoreCon provides tools to import company lists from Microsoft Excel or through the CoreCon link to accounting. When entering companies manually, the company name is the only required field. However, since most project details, so the address, phone numbers, fax numbers, and so on, this information should be entered as well. Also, field staff can view this information as well from CoreCon's mobile apps. So being as thorough as possible benefits the entire operation. A couple things to remember. It's important to concentrate on not creating any duplicate companies or contacts under those companies. Companies can be categorized using company types, which is a built-in classification system. They can also be categorized by customized lists and classifications you'll set up in CoreCon. Categorizing companies is especially beneficial when filtering the listing to add firms to the invitation to bid or to an RFP package. Insurance can be documented for both subcontractors and suppliers. Licenses are also tracked for companies. CoreCom will also alert a user when entering such things as a PO, bill, subcontractor, sub-invoice if the insurance record exists. Companies cannot be deleted unless all associated contacts, insurance records, and project references have been removed. This is the first of a series of videos on the contact management module. In this training video, we're going to discuss the settings needed to be able to set up contact management module properly. The settings for contact management module can be found in global settings and under feature settings and then contact management. The first list you'll encounter is company types. Company types are a way of grouping and organizing lists of companies so that these are easier to search and find. These also affect some log style reports in CoreCon. Since all company types are maintained in the same contact management module and in the same database tables, you'll see contact company types that range from project owners and customers to suppliers, subcontractors, architects, engineers, and so on. CoreCon has provided a sample set of company types for you. However, these can be changed. To change a company type, you could delete the existing. You can also add new, or you can click edit and edit the descriptions that already exist. We're going to explore how to use company types several other times in this series of training videos. The next setting is found under that under insurance types. These insurance types will show up on a pull down list or customizable list when entering the insurance records. CoreCon also has provided a few samples or examples. However, we do encourage you to customize this list for your company's needs. You can do that by deleting the existing insurance types, adding new insurance types, or clicking the edit button and editing the existing classification. A third list is contact titles. Again, CoreCon provides a list of examples. However, we do encourage you to customize these lists for your company's needs. These can be deleted. You can add new records or click the yellow edit button and edit the existing record or classification. Outside of the global settings, feature settings, and contact management options, you may also want to consider a few other things that relate to setting up companies. One of the ways that you can classify and organize your companies is by company type but you'll also have the opportunity to do the same through master cost code lists. So while we're in global settings under company settings and down to cost codes, this would be a good time to create or import from CoreCon's help articles, a list of master cost codes. 
In the subsequent training videos related to this subject, we're going to be using the cost code structure set up called CSI Space 2016. Also under Global Settings and under Company Settings, you'll have the opportunity to set up companies' default tax codes. So it may be a good time to set up the company settings and under taxation, the tax codes that may apply to your customers, project owners, vendors, suppliers, subcontractors, and so on. The last is also under global settings and company settings. These are payment terms. Corcon has provided several default payment terms. However, there are additional terms that you can copy from Corcon's knowledge base. To find that knowledge base, go to the help icon at the top right hand corner. Simply type in payment terms and company settings payment terms. And there's a list of additional payment terms you can add. If you add these exactly as they appear or described, these will calculate due dates for those companies when entered into a new record. If you'd like to know more about the information presented in this training video, we encourage you to go to the knowledge base under Corcon Browser Solution and Company Settings. The information presented in this training video, as well as subsequent training videos, can be found here.